thing. It's been a long bull market from the March lows, but our next guest says it's time to be taking some profits. He's Bill Strizzullo, the chief market strategist at Bell Curve Trading, joining us from our Boston Bureau. And Bill, uh, great to have you with us back on the program. Uh, the city news looks like it's overhanging on the market right now. So today may be the day that you do take some money off the table. Well, Betty, our game plan really hasn't changed for months. Um, we've been bullish looking for a move to 1100, 1150. I talked about that before we even hit 1000 in the S&P, and now we're there. So what we're telling our clients is you really want to be in the harvest mode. Take some profit, take a step back, and begin to wind your equity exposure. It doesn't mean we can't press higher in the short term, but the more important point here is that, in our opinion, the risk-reward has really shifted, meaning the risks of what we stand to lose by holding a long position are at least is great, if not greater, than, we, than what we can reasonably make uh, on the upside. So we're telling our clients it's time to dial it back and begin to take some money off the table. Bill, what are you telling your clients in terms of the dollar's turnaround? Is it good news or bad news for the <clears throat> equity market, given that the dollar is no longer a barometer of risk? It's kind of a reflection of improving economic fundamentals. Good question, Betty. I mean, clearly, if you go back to the March lows, you know, as the equity markets were uh, beginning to bottom and move higher, uh, the dollar was starting to fall. And now we see that uh, relationship going in the reverse direction. The dollar is getting stronger and stocks are getting weaker. So it's definitely something uh, to keep an eye on. And so we're not surprised to see that. In fact, if there is a surprise trade in 2010, um, what we've told our clients is that that surprise trade would be a major rally in the dollar, meaning that has that is a trade that has potentially um, uh, the opportunity to catch a lot of investors going the wrong way. And the, the question now is, has that trend uh, uh, to a dollar strength already started? Hey, Bill, it's Adam. Let me jump in here. For guys at home who are sitting on some good gains, obviously you're telling them to sell, but does that mean you sell a little bit of everything, or do you just you sell some of the losers, or do you actually sell some of the big winners? So what, do you, what do you tell guys at home? Right. I think for the reality of people who are watching the show, look, um, in 2008, they got crushed. You know, the IRAs, 401ks down 40, 50, 60 percent. In 2009, they've got a nice bump off the March lows. What I would suggest for somebody watching the show is maybe move 30 or 40 percent of your assets to cash. That way, if the market, if we're wrong and the market goes higher, you'll still participate on the upside. But if I'm right and we do begin a move lower, you've at least protected some of your gains. Uh, Bill, I mean, you do like some things in the markets right now or some of the sectors. Uh, you have been before, you know, you like some parts of retail, energy. Uh, what would you pick up right now, though, on this, on this, uh, on the sell-off? I think, Betty, what probably looks best right now to us, if I had to pick a sector, is, in, uh, is probably the SMH, the semis. That looks good to us. I mean, on the way up, tech was clearly the strongest. If you look at the S&P, Dow, and NASDAQ, the NASDAQ was clearly the outperformer. So that's where the strength in the market uh, has been. And, and that probably continues to be uh, the strongest part of the market, even if we begin uh, to move lower here. So that's probably where I'd stay uh, if I had to be in the market. Okay, Bill, good to talk with you. Thanks for joining us. Bill Strazulo, the chief market strategist at Bell Curve Trading.